Hey guys, it's Rick. Guess I'm gonna do a honing video. I'm um, honing up this blade here for uh, Dr. Mike from Dr. Mike Shaving Emporium. The razor is made by J.D. Armin from uh, Through the Fire Crafts. <clears throat> um, I sharpened it up the other day, but it wasn't quite up to my standard, so I'm just gonna run it through again. For no rhyme or reason, I pulled out some Shaptons to use them, but I do think I'm going to switch over to the Naniwa. I'm looking crazy. I'm looking for cloth. There I go. Um, I put a little bit of polish on here a minute ago. So, I'm using a soft microfiber to clean it up real good before I hit the stones. Um, but yeah, J.D. Armin made the blade. Uh, freaking fantastic blade. So, um, like I said, I'm putting it on the Shaptons. No rhyme or reason why I've got them. I like them. You know, a lot of people always ask what stones should you get. There's no particular one you should or shouldn't get. So, but what I do suggest is whatever you get, you stick with it and you learn it. Um, there's no reason to bounce back and forth. Now, yeah, I'm going to probably change over to Nebos because I'm going to be finishing on an ILR. Typically, I find that Shaptons like Shaptons. I, I might not change. I don't know yet. And what I mean by that is, you know, it's it's a little difficult sometimes to go from like Shaptons on the low grits to a, a different brand of finisher or a natural finisher. It, it can be done. I mean, anything can be done, sure. <clears throat> um, it just seems like you get the best results if you use an entire Shapton progression. You know, now that I've said that, I might just go ahead and challenge myself. I'm doing this blade here as well. And I might just go from like... So I'm starting on the 2K because both of these were, were pretty close, just not quite there. So I don't need to go in and set a major bevel or anything. So I might just go like 2,000 grit, 4,000 grit, 10,000 grit, and then go to the ILR. Um, but with this one, I might just keep it on shaft. It's, you know, I don't know why. This is a uh, new water bottle I got thanks to uh, Gonzo from uh, Rocket and Shaven. You want to make sure I have one of these so they were really cool for keeping the water you know, on your stone instead of spraying it and kind of getting it everywhere. He's right. It works pretty good. So, enjoying that. I'm just going to start off here. Now, I'm taping this blade because it's brand new. It's trying to preserve the spine. Personally, I don't like tape. And I did another one like this without the tape. Really wasn't that much spine wear at all to be noticeable, so I, I could have gone without tape on this just fine. But I didn't, so I'm keeping it on there. You see, I leave extra. Um, Glenn GS6 gun. I don't want to say you taught me that, but that's where I learned it from. I, picked, I believe that's where I picked up that from. Um, it doesn't have to be quite this long, but I just I roll out the tape, cut it, and then I put it on the, you know, put it on the spine. This gives you something to pull it off with. <clears throat> And meetups and such, I see guys that cut it, you know, the just the length of the blade. And then as you're honing, you know, the tape gets suctioned or pressed down on there tighter. So it's hard to, you know, get your fingernail along there and pick it up and everything. So, neat little tip right there. Now, you're honing, you go... Obviously, this is fine where the tape is, and that obviously the edge. You go edge first, okay? Really, not doesn't have to be a, a lot of pressure or anything. I just and I rotate on the spine. You see, I'm not even picking the razor up off the stone and rotate and rotate. And I do a little bit of an X stroke. Just depends on the blade, the length of the blade, and everything else, you know. But I find for me, doing an X stroke just helps to make sure that I'm getting full contact with the blade on the stone. Otherwise, if you're trying to keep straight, it's, it's easy to kind of teeter up a little bit and not miss the toe. And some of the other videos I show a marker test. I'm not going to do one here. Let me find a towel to wipe the blade on. There we go. So, we're looking to do a little meetup in Charleston, South Carolina here. Might not be till later in the year. I've got a bunch of things I'm paying off and paying for. So, my extra money, I mean, even gas to get down there is, I mean, it sounds pathetic, but it is what it is. 
is like very limited. So I don't know if I'll be able to make it before then unless something happens. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, um, but I'm excited to get down there and sit down with some of these guys. And there's some of them that are pretty new to straight razor shaving. And some of them that, you know, want to learn the um, honing part of it. Honing is not difficult, but I do find I, mean, I learned a lot better whenever I sat down with people one on one, and it really just helps put things into perspective for sure. Like one thing, you know, one main example is everybody says, "Well, cut arm hair with it." Well, what exactly does that mean? At what point you know, we'll define cutting? Cut how? Cut with a little bit of force? Cut effortlessly? Treetop? And you know, it, it's all kinds of different things. So it's just, yeah, you can learn without being in person, but it's, uh, for me, it was easier. I think it's easier to show in person as well. Plus, it's just so fun to meet people and chat with them and stuff. It's funny because a lot of people don't ever look like you would anticipate or expect. Sometimes they do, you know, it, it just all depends. But I find the people you meet in person are some of the nicest people you'll ever know. I mean, just really cool down there, dudes, all the way around. And their wives, if they come, you know. Um, and a couple wives at our Kentucky meetup. Just, you know, killer ladies and stuff. you got to have a cool wife to be able to put up with this crazy nonsense of a hobby, right? You know? So, she's got to be a good lady if she can put up with that. Um, I don't think... Hmm. Pretty much done on this stone right here. You know what, since I already had the stone out and wet and everything, I'm going to go ahead and do the other razor on this as well. Because I'm going to finish on something else. I'm going to lay that to the side. <clears throat> Bring this one here out. I hope it's not too dark i really don't know what angle would be best to put this at to see or you know what to show and such so you got any questions let me know and i'll try to you know do another video or answer your questions or whatever i'm just going to slightly um uh, go down i'm going to put pressure on the table just get out my lapping plate do a light lapping on here just clean off the swarf metal from the old blade i really want to get a DGLP uh, diamond grit lapping plate from Shapton. I've got just about everything else in the Shapton lineup except an 8000 grit stone and the DGLP. This is an old worn out DMT. It works fine, but heart wants what it wants, right? Get my enema bottle here. I gave Bob such a hard time about that. That is what it freaking looks like. His wife does uh, nails for dead people and so um she gets like discounts at the hair place because they you know hair and nails and so he gets those there um i mean they most of the time they only been used once for enemas and you know he just wrenches them out real good and hey, they're good to go all right i'm doing some circles it's a moderate pressure on here and you can well you can't see that way can you see the darkness in there all right, that is what we call swarf. That is uh, basically metal coming off of the razor. Now the Shaptons show it more so than other people, you know, other stones. But yeah, every stone works a little bit differently. Okay, it might be I didn't. Uh, whenever I, what did I do with the darn DMT? Well, if I got the DMT to it, I should have wiped it off real good and kind of took my finger and wiped off all the residue as well, but I didn't. No biggie. It's not like I mixed any grits or anything, so it's all good. I love the sound that stone makes. I don't know why. All right, so the yellow-orange things down here, these are called bench cookies. You get them from, like, Home Depot. It's, it's in a... Um, it just gives me a little bit of elevation, so it's, you know, not too far down in here. This is a lunch tray that I got from a restaurant supply store for like $2.30. Um, and it's a regular stone holder. You know, just your regular run-of-the-mill brand. No specific brand or anything. Um, I like my stone holder for my DMT whenever I am, oh gosh, lapping my stones. Could never think of the word. Yeah, whenever I'm lapping the stones, 
I think it's right here. Yeah, that's stones you're looking at right there. That might be a little bit annoying. Let's see if I can't fix that. Um, because, you know, a lot of times when you're lapping, you get that suction, it's really tight. So the stone holder gives me something when I have the DMT inside up to grab it and um, <clears throat> fix that. So, yeah. Yeah. There we go. Might give me a little mount deal or something like that. I don't know. All right. So I'll do a few of those, and I'm going to do some X strokes. A little bit of water on here. Clean off all that uh, swarf and residue. So I had a great mail call today from Through the Fire Crafts. Also won some chiseled face from Peter Charcalis. Is it Charcalis or Charcalis? Charcalis? I can't remember exactly how he says his name. But he sent me some chiseled face. Sherlock. Yeah. Sherlock Soap. I'm trying to think of Sherlock Holmes. Just Sherlock. Um, from the Chiseled Face Company. So, um, it's really cool whenever you win stuff. From Through the Fire Crafts, I got um, some aftershave, a couple of shave soaps, some body soap, and some uh, shampoo. So, the, not regular, uh, shampoo bars. Love the shampoo bars. They are absolutely wonderful. Um, I had my wife use one for the first time the other night, and I told her, I'm like, don't even use conditioner with it. Well, she didn't believe me. And I was like, well, come here, you know, get, you know, after I showered and everything and I got dried off, a couple hours later, my hair was completely dry. And uh, I was like, well, feel how soft it is. I mean, I haven't used any con any conditioner at all. She said, well, next time I'll believe you and I'll try it. So, but I do have the Through the Fire Crafts, um, Through the Fire Fine Crafts conditioner now as well. So, you know, she can try that. It's like an apricot scent. Really a great smell. Kind of sounds kind of feminine, but I love it. I mean, it, it doesn't really have a feminine smell. Feminine, feminine. I don't know. And so South Carolina boy, it sharpens razors. What I know about smells. So I'm probably going to stop this video because we're about 12 minutes right here of sheer boredom. In the next video, I'll bring you in. We'll be on another stone. All right.